Hey guys, welcome back to DDLC Plus, where today we'll be continuing the story by uh, going to the self-love part one and clicking into it, and we're gonna go into it just like this, you know, how it do and how it be. It's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki with Monica's help. Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since then. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxiously counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether it's good or bad. And because the passing by of students was making her feel even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spots she could find to spend her lunch. Because this staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Um, I just... Yuri grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages beneath the pressure of her thumbs. Well, what are you doing here? I just came to get a drink from the vending machine. The other one is out of drink I like. Yuri notices Natsuki fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. She nods, avoiding eye contact. Natsuki, also looking away, shuffles over to the vending machine. It's so quiet that every one of her movements seems to reverberate through the entire stairwell. After far too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place place of the coins. It's some kind of iced tea. But instead of leaving right away, Natsuki just stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here. It's creepy. I mean, that's not what I meant really. I mean, it's totally cool that it's your thing or whatever. Like, I can see how it suits you. So not because I think you're creepy or something. I didn't mean that either. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking. That seems like a good idea. It's okay. Everything is okay. Yuri finds herself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammering herself into dejection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off her drink and takes a sip. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, Natsuki doesn't say anything more. Yuri continues to read, or at least pretends to. And the two of them just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little bit as time passes. Even without any word, this seems to mean at least something. Though it's not clear what that may be. Lunch ends more quickly than expected. Natsuki is the first to stand up with her empty drink bottle. Are you coming today? To the club? Yuri nods. I'm sorry for being so awkward. I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. I just can't for some reason, I don't know why. But I want to, eventually. There's no rush. I promise. Thanks. It's the next day. Natsuki appears from around the corner and steps up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Today she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh, you're here again. Well, I just came here to read this because there aren't any people around here. Oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here. I see. Natsuki sits down. The mood feels much different today than it did yesterday. After yesterday's lunch and the club meeting that followed, Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. Although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind, she continues to detour around it. But it's okay that I'm here? Yeah, I don't care. I mostly just don't feel like dealing with the crap I get from my friends about it. Especially since, like, they all just assume I stopped reading manga after I joined the literature club. Not that I'm trying to hide it from them exactly, but I just don't want to come up again now after I've waited for so long for this new volume to come out. Literally months at this point. You don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless online friends count. And Sayori, but that's it's different because she's not exactly into it. She just likes it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, you're lucky that the books you're into at least look like books so you don't have to feel like everyone is constantly judging you by what you're reading. That would be so awful. Especially since I already hate attention so much. Well, it's a good thing I have thick skin, I guess. By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already. If you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with. Well, oh, I have online friends. Since middle school, actually. I was especially desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. 
Oh, uh, whatever. Bro, we were all stupid kids back then anyway. Some of the fanfics I wrote, thank God I used Pistonium. But I liked it at the time. I got a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence that I've become a better person since then. So I don't think I would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now we'll think the same thing about our current selves. <laughs> Probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me. Especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Um, alright, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. That's me from the future coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, I didn't mean to hit myself so hard. Yuri doesn't seem to react. But then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile as though it was a really funny joke. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about! I didn't know you had it in you! I... I don't. I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny? But sorry, I keep distracting you. You said you were looking forward to reading, but I kept going on about all this nonsense. I'll let you get to your reading. Alright. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll do that then. The conversation ends quickly and Natsuki opens her book. The two read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour, but the whole time Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having so abruptly forced uh, the end of their conversation. You're back? Yeah, I'm here to lay low again. Another day has passed. During lunchtime, Natsuki finds herself having wandering to the stairwell once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki quickly notices a bottle of iced tea on the staircase where she normally sits. Yuri nods, avoiding eye contact. What, like for me? But you didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? Well, I just, I mean, I would have drank it myself, I guess. It was a stupid thing to do. No, it... It wasn't stupid. I just thought, never mind. What I meant to say is thank you. And that it's a really nice gesture. It's okay if you don't feel that way. I do! It was the other things that I didn't mean. I swear, please believe me. Um, Yuri pauses then nods. Talking is hard. I get it wrong a lot too. So I believe you. Natsuki exhales in relief. She then sits down next to Yuri and takes the drink. Knowing Yuri, she was probably overthinking it so much that Natsuki's tepid response filled her with self-doubt. I'll do something nice for you next time. Please, don't feel oblig- I want to! I want to do nice things too. Okay, thank you. You can thank me after I figure out how to do something nice. I'll do it then too, Natsuki sighs. Um, nothing. It just reminds me of how I haven't been getting along with my friends lately. Is that why you've been coming here? Well, no, not exactly. I haven't been avoiding them on purpose or anything. There are just other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately. Like being around them when we're all just having fun, but they also just can't take anything seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, then their attitudes just really get on my nerves. It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the Literature Club.